Okay, hello. Oh yeah, this is unscripted. I'm just, I just want to show like how to get set up Freebar because it's just, like a really cool software where you can listen. To, it's pretty much just like Spotify, but with downloaded files. Well, I'm just saying like the interface is similar and it has plugins so you can like show it up on, make it show up on Discord and like it'll show on Lost.fm as well. So I'll just, oh wait, I just deleted it. So I guess I can't show, <laughs> that was pretty dumb of me. First step is I'll have all this in the subscription. Screw bar. You have to download it, but you have to download uh, the 32-bit version because most of the components, like basically plugins, just aren't updated to 64-bit yet, so you, it won't work. So you have to get 32-bit. So first thing, uh, I, I recommend making like a program folder where you can just put everything in. And I'm just doing it like that. Now for the setup, just double-click it. Next, next, standard. Uh, yes. And mine's a, my folder I made. Next, just next, finish. And it's just default stuff. Doesn't matter right now. Just close it. I mean, I, I could delete. I could delete setup, but I'm just gonna keep it to use for later. And you should be able to just close this. This is fine. So next thing you want to do is get the theme, which is over here. So on the big page, you go on the right where it says releases, and you click latest, and then you click source code zip. And now you want to go over to it and right click and extract it all. Just do it where it's already at. Like just default should be fine. Let's take a while. Okay, now that's an extracting. I'm just gonna cut and paste it into the main themes folder. I'm gonna delete the extract one. You go over here and type in run and app data percentage. Uh, okay. And break up roaming and just scroll down until you see foobar 2002. And you wanna leave this open. And now uh, you wanna leave that open and open the other one at the same time. And just copy, copy all this. Uh, control C, control V. You can also do cut if you don't want this in your storage anymore, but I'm just keeping it for backup. Over here, control V. Also, cut is this little scissors thing. Now that it's done. So go. Foo bar, which is bar, and it'll show like new user interface. You pick, just take a bit, and you, you're gonna want to click columns UI. Okay, they showed up. Columns UI. Okay. I just click okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this. So you wanna go to file and preferences, but you can also just do control P. Uh, and over here, you wanna go to, I think, yeah, display, columns UI, import configuration. And over here, like, just where you put in all that stuff into the folder. And here, go to here. Click this configuration. It's fine, file path, because you, you know, I guess. But this is just where, like, the app data stuff is in. Uh, okay. And it will set up the theme. And right now it's in white mode, you can change up. I didn't read all this, because I'm lazy. I'm just doing the default to the display, just settings, kind of layout, dark theme. Okay, now once you set up, you have the theme done. You have the theme done, but look. Where's my files? Uh, so you get your files, you go back to preferences, control P or that other one other, uh, media library, which you can do already have. Add, and just find your folder for your audio. Set folder, apply, and here's all my stuff. Just, it's all just like, yeah, music. And now, for Discord iteration, where if you show up on your profile with the cover and stuff, which is really cool. And I'll have a link to that, which is here. I'll have a link to this. And so something I noticed, by the way, I'm just mentioning this in case you like also see it, is when you're down here and click releases, and six more releases, okay. So there's newer versions, uh, right? But these don't have the automatic uploading image thing, or at least the one I have, I tried was it, which is this one, which is pretty annoying. But this one does, well, this, but this one still works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So just, it's just use it. It's not it. So just put it somewhere where you'll remember because you're installing that. Control key. You want to go to uh, components, install, install it. You'll find your component that you downloaded, and you just go bridge. Open, apply, and just start it. Uh, okay, now, it should be applied, and you want to go to Tools, Discord, and so right now, it will show the song. Just play like, I forgot to turn on the volume. Okay, so, uh, I was just playing the song, and now it'll show that I'm listening to it, which is cool on Discord, but you can make it so it shows the cover art right here of it. And also, there's some settings you can do. Um, so right now, even though I'm not playing it, it shows up, right? But I can make it do like, so it can swap between being played and not. So right now, it just says pause with this little blue color. It says play, it says I, I relaxed, and now it's gone. Or you can make it so whenever you stop playing it, it'll just disable. And I mean, it's a little bit delayed, so it'll, delay, so it'll take a bit too. See, now it's gone. Uh, so that's that mode, I just use that one. Now, for automatic, like, uh, cover art uploading, so it shows up, which is really cool, um, click this button, and basically, there's a, uh, program that does this for you, it's a subscription, called, 
Rust image upload. Just click image uploader.exe. Let someone remember. Okay, now you wanna you wanna go back to where you downloaded it. Just close those. Gotta find it. And you wanna right click on it, do copy as path. Control shift C. And now just come paste that here. So now it'll know where to look for it, find the thing. And now if I play a song, I'm gonna play a different song. I play that song. Um it should just Yeah, there we go. Anyway. And now you can make it you can make your music show up on Lost FM whenever you're listening to it on Foobar. Just go if you lose if you use Lost FM. If you don't, you can just skip this uh step. But if you do, this is a really cool thing. I on it I recommend you use this website for like music honestly, but like I don't just, I don't wanna be a giant walking billboard. I just like it. Uh for this you wanna go over to uh, it's called Foo Scrobbler. And I think this is official, it's not like I don't think it's like a virus or anything. Just put it somewhere you remember. Just put it here. I'll just put it there. Uh preferences. Phone it. Install. Find it. So here. Open. And apply. Okay. So let it restart. Is it not gonna restart? I clicked to restart. Okay, I just I guess just close it manually. Okay, just put it, I just put the task bar so I can get to it easier. Uh, I think that'll work. Yeah, I'm, okay, it's, oh no, no, this is not, it's here now. So you wanna click request authorization and bring it over here. Just click yes, allow access and close that. And complete authorization, apply, okay, play like. I really like this song. And it will show up on speed. And then, for the one, we're going to FM. It's showing up. See, it's just scrabbling now. Which is pretty cool. And now, and now, I want to talk about visualization. And it'll, it just says this right now, so it's not working. But you can do visualizers. So for that, you want to go over to here. And you need to find WinApp, but uh, you don't have to download WinApp because it comes with the theme. And it should be, I'll show the file path. But you'll have to go back to run and after I like do all this all over again, the find foobar folder. And now you wanna go to plugins and what out. Just copy paste this. And click this. And down here, just remove that and add the thing copy paste it. And just click note drop. And okay, wait. Oh, I guess I yeah. It's pretty cool. And that, that's it, that's like all the stuff I want to show. You can get more components and get them. But those are just like the main ones. Goodbye.